Hello and welcome to The Point from Navitend. In this screencast we'll look at how you can leverage technology to gather information from clients, new customers, or anyone else. As part of Google Apps, Google Forms allows you to create forms for gathering information. These forms can then be emailed or placed online for editing. Responses are automatically stored in a Google Docs spreadsheet. Google Forms helps to overcome the fragmentation that arises from relying on email or document-based questionnaires. Let's get started. Uh, creating, we'll start with creating a form. First, you want to sign into your Google account, which I've already done. You can, you can do that by following the instructions in the uh, in the actual issue of the point. The second step is to browse to docs.google.com, which I have open here in uh, in my Chrome web browser. Under the Create New drop-down uh, box, choose Form. Click uh, Untitled Form here to enter a new title. I'm just going to say the point the point demo. Here you can place any text that you want to just convey to people when they're filling out your form. This will be before any of the questions. Uh, next, you move on to the, the questions themselves. They start out the document with a sample question that's been already created. Uh, we'll make a new question and say, do you like Google Forms? So this is the first question in our, uh, in our form. This text, again, is just information that you want to convey specifically relating to this question. So I, I could put anything there. I'm just going to leave that blank for now. The question type, uh, I'll give people multiple choices. And then you can uh, type in different the different answers that are available. So, so somewhat, hit enter, and it creates a new option. Uh, a lot, not at all. So those are their three options. Now, if, if this question is required, if I need them to fill this out on the form, uh, then I can check this checkbox, make this a required question, and, uh, and you click Done. It creates the question. Do you like Google Forms? Somewhat, a lot, not at all. So this is still in edit mode, and we're not actually on, like, the, uh, on the actual form. Down here, you can view the published form here. So I'm going to right-click this to view the actual... Let's not do that. Just click it once to view the actual... Um, the form. So here's the actual form that we've created. The point demo. Do you like Google Forms? Somewhat. Sample question two is the other question that was created here automatically, which I'm going to delete from my form. I just want to ask that one question. Go back here and refresh. This is the actual live form. And you can see the question has removed. Now I'm going to fill out as somewhat and submit. Now my response has been recorded, but where has that response been recorded? Um, if I go back to the Google Docs page, I can see that this new spreadsheet was automatically created with the same name as my form. Click that, and I'm brought to the sheet, which actually shows all the responses. So here I received a response today, the 15th, at uh, 508, I believe that's Pacific Standard Time. Um, and it says, do you like Google Forms, which was my question, and my answer, which was somewhat. If I wanted to make this more useful, I could add another question, perhaps a text question that asks, what is your name? So that we know who responded. Um, again, this help test is not really necessary, and this is going to be a text response, not a paragraph or a, or a grid or checkboxes. It's going to be a text answer, their name. And I'm going to make this, again, a required question. Done. But I want the name, I want this question to be first in the list. So I just click and drag it up above. Now that's first. Save again. Now we can go back to the form. You can see what is your name. So I'll say Phil Beach. And do I like Google Forms a lot? Submit. Response has been recorded. We go back to the spreadsheet. And you can see live and in real time, this response was automatically added. You can see that today at 8.09, I guess somehow it's been corrected automatically to Eastern Time on this one. And it, my response and my name, Phil Beach, responded with a lot. So you can see how this can be very useful for gathering information from clients. We're planning on implementing it here at Navitan for various purposes. So when you want to distribute the form, I already did, touched on this briefly, to your clients or to a new client or whoever else you need to gather information from. They have several tools for that. First of all, you can copy the link down here that I clicked before and this brings them to the online form where they can fill it out. You could copy that and email it, etc., to, to your clients. The other option is to just click this email this form uh, button, and then you can send it to specific people. So pbeach at navitend.com. 
and the subject will be check out my form from Google Forms and I can check this box if I check this box it'll include the actual form in the email most likely they're not going to be able to fill it out in the email but it'll show the questions that they can be um, anticipating and then it'll include a link the same link here to go to the online form and fill it out if you uncheck this the email will just contain that link and then you hit send and there you go I have sent a uh, request to fill out this form to a client so that that pretty much covers it uh, the one more thing that I wanted to touch on is to adjust the appearance you can if I go back to the form here you can see that this is a very plain theme that I've selected here they offer a lot of different themes unfortunately you can't customize your own or I should say personalize your own theme but you can choose from over um, it looks like 97 different themes so if I choose one here apply and now go back to my form and refresh it you can see that the theme has changed quite a bit to be um, to have this calculator and, and different colors so with that, we've reached the conclusion of this week's issue of The Point. My name is Phil, writer and narrator of The Point. You can watch previous issues or subscribe to receive The Point via email on our website, navaten.com. The link is below. Have a great week.